Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about a week in a life of a fat vegan, which is my life. I am currently in Oaxaca City, Mexico, and I've been traveling with my husband for the past couple months. And outside, I'm outside in a park nearby, and it might be a little loud and busy, Okay, just to let y'all know that I do have video chapters of each day of the week. The first Saturday I felt like personally was a little boring, so if you want to skip the first Saturday, you can by just clicking on, oh, let's see what happened on Monday or Sunday. So I do have the video chapters in the description box below and or in the comment section. So check that out. All right. So we are going to Chihuahua, which is like my favorite store in Mexico. And we're just gonna go shopping for some food. And that's really it. And then we'll probably just take a taxi back. So let me show you. This place is humongous. So if you live in Mexico, you all know all about Chihuahua. And if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize in advance. All right. So we're in an electronic section. Further down is where the food is. This Chidari has like organic stuff, a couple of vegan things. Someone told me that this one is the best one in Oaxaca. So uh, we are in like Reforma, like the Reforma um, Chidari. So I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It reminds me of like a Walmart and kind of like a Wegmans. I don't know. like. It's better than Walmart in my opinion. I figured it, like this is like my target basically because I go to Target back at home in the States. This is kind of like my target because <laughs> I really like it. It's huge and it it's, you can get everything here except for certain things. Okay, you guys, this is Saturday and I want to show you guys the first juice I've ever made in my life in a juicer. Okay, so let me turn it over so you guys can see. Okay, see? So this right here is my juice and a juicer that I bought from Chihuahua. I might be saying it wrong. I'm in Mexico, so I bought this at a Mexican super tienda, superstore. And uh, yeah, so this has like carrots, and celery, and ginger, pineapple, and apples. And I had two cups of grapes earlier. I'm gonna have this as part of my meal. I already had my grapes, so this is kind of like the second half of my meal. All right, you guys, I'm about to make myself some dinner. So I'm using these Uda noodles. I'm gonna add some teriyaki and some vegetables, vegetables. And then I'll show you guys the end results. Yeah, so this is dinner. So I added some coconut aminos as well with the teriyaki. I also added a little bit of spinach and this is my dinner. Okay, the lighting isn't terrible, I don't think. The lighting where I'm currently staying the lighting is just not good uh but anyway i'm gonna show you guys my last meal of this day so let me turn it over for you so everything's vegan so this right here is um bagel with cream cheese these three are oreos these are birthday cake oreos you guys i'm obsessed with birthday cake flavored things and it smells so good when i opened up the package this is chocolate covered strawberries that i made and yeah, that's today. Yeah, I want to talk about Saturday real quick. I'm looking around because I am in the public and I'm in the park. Anyway, so I want to talk about that last meal with the vegan cream cheese and the bagel. I was halfway through that bagel and I felt nauseous. I felt so sick to my stomach. I didn't throw up or anything, but I just want to be transparent with y'all when it comes to the food that I'm eating and what, how I feel after I eat it. I did not feel well after eating that. And I had some cashew milk, okay? 
and I saw a little green dot in the cashew milk and I'm not sure if it's like mold or something so I poured out that glass I poured another glass and then this morning I just felt too paranoid about it and I literally got rid of it this was a five dollar container of cashew milk I typically don't spend that much on cashew milk but I wanted to try it anyway and that cashew milk also has a lot of fat because it's not diluted with a lot of water it's strictly two ingredients cashew and filtered water so I this is like what happens okay off the camera I felt nauseous and I was like oh my gosh I ate this food too quick I felt sick so just want to let you guys know that all right so part of my walk today I get to see beautiful scenes like this because of course Oaxaca is very mountainous and it's just so beautiful um, and I guess it's kind of a cloudy day today but it's still gorgeous so yep I'm out here walking it's part of like my movement for today and I have to walk up a hill so just wanted to show you guys parts of my life I just want to show you guys real quick what um, supplements I'll be taking so I'll be taking a vegan probiotic and a b12 supplement this is my very first day taking both of these. You, as you can see, they're not even open yet. So I'm going to open them now and take them. And I will see you guys at the next meal. So you guys, in my $50 blender, I did not realize that I cannot juice arugula. And as you can see, there is a lot of greens in there. So half of them didn't even get juiced because they went through the little slide or whatever. And it didn't get juiced. All right, let me tell you guys what I'm eating for lunch, I'm wearing my house dress, so I am wearing some clothes. <laughs> but this is what I'm gonna eat. This is actually my very first meal of the day, and I'm eating very, very late. It's a little after 2 p.m. my time, so it's very late. So this right here is a vegan ciabatta sandwich. It has like mushrooms in it, tomatoes, some greens. They also have a little tiny little green salad inside as well. And then it has some type of oil, which I don't really use, but there's oil. And then there's mustard on there, too. Okay, so then I got this. So this is all from a wrappy order. So this is like, you know, like delivery. This is peanut butter with cacao. I know the color is very strange. This is very natural, you guys. Literally, there's only two ingredients, which is the peanut butter and the cacao. So that's why it looks like this. It looks strange. It doesn't look like Nutella that you would get at the store. So it's natural. And yeah, this right here is basically strawberry jelly. Okay. So it just has strawberries, um, juice of a lemon, and white sugar. And then right here is really just, I'm not going to open it, but this is ciabatta bread. This is just ciabatta bread. So it's the same bread for my sandwich. It's down here. So I'm going to like slice these up and put like either like this on it or this or both, whatever. But I figure you guys don't, you need to see all that detail. But I'm just letting you guys know I'm going to be using the jelly and the kind of the healthy-ish Nutella and uh, that's gonna be my meal. Oh, and I forgot. This right here is the juice. So I'm gonna call it Naranja Verde Zinger. So it has like oranges, some greens, not a lot because you know, that situation. Um, ginger, one carrot, and some celery. So this is my juice and it has mandarins. So this is my juice today that I freshly, you know, put through the juicer. So this is going to be my meal and I also have some water. All right, this is going to be the last meal for Sunday. So I have nice cream and I have birthday cake Oreos. Let me show you that. Okay, the table is very messy, has all kinds of stuff on it, but this nice cream, so I have half of two flavors. This is cocoa, so chocolate nice cream, and then another one is maple vanilla. And then I have the birthday cake, so I have a couple of these cookies, I'm not sure how many. Me and my husband is reading through this book. So we read uh, chapter five today, I believe, four or five. But we read one of the chapters in this book. I strongly suggest this book for anyone, okay? Like single, married, dating. I think this is a great book. It's called You Are the One You Have Been Waiting For. 
um, bringing courageous love to intimate relationships. It talks about internal family systems. So people who know anything about if you've seen a therapist and you deal with trauma or if you're a therapist yourself, you most likely have heard of this before. Um, so yeah, I got this book. My therapist months ago suggested me to get, you know, purchase this book on the IFS website. You would have to get the book on their website. I'm not sure if they have it on any other, any other places. And they have other books too. So I'm hoping at some point to explore other books they have on their website. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow, which will be Monday. the lighting it's just not good in here but strawberries bagel with strawberry jelly this is like a quick snack before i go to the nail salon with a friend This is my last meal of the day. So let me show you guys what I'm eating. Okay, bagel yogurt. That is some strawberry um, mint water that I created. And then we have some Brad's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar Refresher. Yeah, I will see you guys on Tuesday. I went out today and Monday. Okay, I went out today. So I took a lot of pictures because I was with a friend and I was walking around and I was kind of busy. So there's a lot more pictures than video, but that's okay. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Hey you guys, it is Tuesday 
and I am in Sierra Norte. See how beautiful it is? Oh, so beautiful. This does not show you guys how great it is on camera. You have to be here to see it. The Sierra Norte is an hour away from Oaxaca City. It's beautiful. I'll try to show you guys some footage. I'm here all day. I'm not going to get back home until the evening to like after dinner time. So I'll bring you guys along, but it's so beautiful and it's peaceful. Okay, you guys, this is a bromelia plant. Very interesting. I've never seen a plant like this ever in my life. It's like spiky and it's literally on a tree. So cool. All right, so down there you can tell those are chicken coops because you can constantly hear them going, you know, their noises. Ooh. It's called a mushroom, a milk <laughs> mushroom. See, like ah. the stuff that comes out of it looks like milk. Oh, wow. Champion. I gotta go through this. And you guys, I'm like five foot seven, and this is like really like crazy. <laughs> so I'm cutting through it. I'm trying not to like fall because it's a slide. I'm good. <laughs> this stick has helped. So there's not just moss on the trees, but there's also sickness. They're speaking it in Spanish, and some of my friends try to translate for me because I don't understand most of the words, but I understand little bits and pieces. So, yeah. See how wide this this area is? It's not very wide. See, so it's enough for two feet, but you have to be really careful. Okay, um, there's no rails. Okay, so I have to be careful when I'm walking. <laughs> so you see this green stuff right here? I'm gonna just use with my stick. But this right here, this green stuff, this is used for decorations for Christmas. So. Um, the village or like the town people will take it. I'm assuming they might even clean it and then they sell it in the city. Wow. So we came from way over there. That's insane. Or way over there. Somewhere over here. There. It's far. <laughs> and then there's spores on that leaf. That's crazy. Nature is so interesting. <laughs> Look at that. So this is Mille de Agua. Okay, we're done with our 
another tour and I will talk to you guys later about what the craziness about the tour. But this is one of the they most... Put them on blast. Okay. <laughs> this is like a very beautiful church that is in the city of Oaxaca. And I think we're going to go inside of it. And I don't know much information about it, but that's just usually how I am anyway. <laughs> so I'm really quiet because it's so quiet. We're inside the cathedral. So beautiful. So we are in central, the historic central part of Oaxaca. And we're in the cathedral. So we're basically at the church. It's huge, it's so beautiful. massage parlor. I'm gonna get a royal Mayan massage. It helps like clearing energy, like negative energy, and as well as a massage, like a whole body massage. And also I'm drinking some tea. And I can show you guys around a little bit. Try not to show you the people, okay? So we got a room here. Oh, he's ready for ready for me, okay. They're ready for me, so I had to go. Okay, I'm about to get a royal Mayan massage. Let me show you more, okay? This is the massage room. I have to get, you know, undressed in my underwear. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that. <laughs> I'll let you guys know how I feel about it, okay? Alright, so I'm getting a Flexology foot massage right now um, at a local spa in Oaxaca City. So, I've already had the... Um, royal maya massage and that was different i really enjoyed it uh, they did like muscle massages cupping um full body massage it was really nice like it was really uh, relaxing um so my new friend rena she's actually right now getting a massage i can hear the cupping in the background um, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my massage and I'll talk to you guys later about what happened with the tour. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> 